Welcome viewers to SWF. My name is Guy and we're here today because I want to share a little trick that I use in the shop when I don't have a brake press, I don't have a torch around, and I want to bend a piece of metal. It takes a little bit of work, but it's a super handy trick that I use all the time. And if you've got some common tools hanging around your shop, you can do this, all right? There are many situations when you need to make a bend and you don't have a brake press or a torch handy to heat the material. Here's an example of legs to a table that was bent using my technique. Regardless of the angle, it is possible to attain precision. So let's have a look here. I have this plate sitting in front of me. It's 3 16 thick. It is uh, it's about four by eight long. And let's just say I wanna put a 45 degree angle on this at four inches in on my plate. So we'll grab my tape measure. We'll scribe a little mark at four inches. Grab my square, transfer that line over. Put this aside, get my gloves and our angle grinder with a zip cut. Is what I want to do is I want to cut through this plate and I want to go about two thirds of the way down on it, right? So I'm going to release some of the uh, some of the, the tension in this and it's going to it's going to make it a little easier to bend. Okay, let's hang this off the table. We'll reclamp it. Make sure you got a good clamp on this. Grab my angle finder, have a look. Almost there. Okay, looks like I've overvented a little bit, no problem. Now I just grabbed my welder and I want to weld the back side of this plate. So I'll get my helmet on here. Got my machine set to about 320 and 20 volts. 75, 25 shielding gas, 75 argon, 25 CO2. I'm going to give this a few tacks so that I don't get too much distortion and my plate pulls. So I'm going to tack the ends first and then a, a few tacks throughout and then we'll weld the whole thing. Now, this doesn't have to be a nice weld. Grab my grinder. Couple spots I just want to crack here. Notice how I'm doing long strides when I'm grinding. I'm not forcing in one area is what that does is it'll it'll sort of groove out on the on the plate and it'll leave some uneven marks especially if you're going to paint this piece
There you have it, folks. There's your bent piece. Now, if you're worried about the backside losing a bit of strength, you can go in and, and put a weld on the backside of this piece and then grind that out as well. But, you know, that's a, that's a nice 45 degree angle to me, right? Good stuff. Thanks for watching, viewers.